I'm Karen Siegel. I am a community family physician here at Crowfoot Village Family Practice. I have been receiving the physician panel reports from the HQCA since about 2013. I think it's easy for us as clinicians to think about the patients in front of us, but the panel reports are great at helping us take a step back and look at our patient panels as a whole. If I was asked to consider my entire patient panel, I would probably have some misconceptions about who those people are, because we tend to think of the people that we see on a regular basis, so the sicker patients are the more challenging patients. But the panel reports help us be objective about our panels. In addition, they offer us information that we otherwise wouldn't actually have. So information about how our patients use the system, about how they're vaccinated, that sort of thing that we don't have in our electronic medical records. As an example, it became evident from our clinic report that our COPD patients were not sufficiently immunized for influenza. This is one of the most important things that we can do to lower the risk of a COPD exacerbation. So our clinic did a quality improvement um, project, and as a result of the report, we created a proactive approach to offer vaccinations to our COPD patients. Hi, I'm Tina Nicholson. I'm a family physician working out of the Cochrane Primary Care Clinic, just outside of Calgary. Having used the HQCA reports over the last few years, I've gained a greater understanding of my patient panel and how and where to implement some improvements in my practice. The ability to get a confirmed panel list report has greatly improved the accuracy of my data as I have patients spread across the city who often use walk-in clinics but still identify with myself as their primary healthcare provider. I have been able to work with my staff in looking into my screening rates for PAPs and mammograms and as well as implementing an improved process for ASAP recording of reminders, this has helped in doing outreach works on those that are past due for their screening. By using the reports as a basis for reviewing bone mineral density testing and imaging rates, I was able to identify other areas for improvement or an alternative approach to a problem and enhanced my use of other patient resources to avoid unnecessary screening or imaging and better compliance with current clinical guidelines. My reports going forward will help to show me how successful I've been in these areas of change. Understanding the importance of how to record procedures and bill accurately to enhance the validity of the data has also been a positive outcome. As a clinic, we are coming together in standardising processes around data inputting. A method of maintaining accurate panel lists and are working towards improving the screening rates across the clinic. These reports provide the basis for discussion and action in our team and all members of the team have found them interesting and useful. They can form the basis for QI projects moving forward and direct which areas we may look to improve operationally in the clinic. As a single physician receiving data, there will always be some actionable change that we may try to implement. But in reality, we all practice in teams and many have PCN supports as well. By requesting our data reports, we can inform ourselves, our clinics and our PCNs where there may be unperceived gaps in patient care and help with enhancing our patient outcomes. The new reports have easy to interpret summary sheets with identified action items as well as links to many resources which can help us in our efforts to deliver the best care to our patients using the most current evidence base.